In today's video, we're going to be looking at a Valiant Ecotec Pro 28. So what we're going to be looking at is this bolt here, F64. Now this could be a few things. It could be the main PCB. It could be the NTC sensor, or it could be the harness. So we're going to check things out and see which part has failed. To get this boiler, hope you know by now, there's a screw here but it's missing and you've got a clip there and a clip there remove the screw press and clips up and then the front of this lifts we've took down the front now so i've loaded it down and as i said we're going to start with the ntc sensor so that's in there one's on the floor and one's on the return so what we're going to do we're going to check the resistance should be about 10 to 12 mega ohms at room temperature so we're going to use our multimeter here put up resistance and check what the values are to access the ntc sensors you can get your hand in probably there but what i would suggest take this air pipe off by removing that screw there give you better access to get to them what we'll do now we'll just pull the plug off that's on there off and then as i said we're going to go across that with our multimeter so we're on connected there let's look at the multimeter it's about 16 17 nearly so it's quite high what we'll do we'll measure the other one we're now on the back one you can see that's return one and then we'll just check this here so it's about the same as when it was flipped off so that's about the same. What we're going to do now, we're going to do a continuity check on the um, lead going from the PCB here to the NTC sensors. So we'll start with the flow one, which is this. So you can see we've got red and black here. I just want to tell you the wires on here. This is on X20 plug. So you've got this red and is connected to that black so the red is for the flow ntc and then the blue next to the black is also joined to the black but the blue represents the return ntc so when we're doing a continuity check say we're going to go with a flow we're going to go across the red and black so sorry i said that wrong we're going to go from the red here to the red which is on this end and then we'll see if we get continuity we're now going to do the continuity check so go on that black so now we're testing the black is good let go so do we know that wire is good we're going to check the blue now you can see that that end and we're going to look at the plug end on the blue so again that's fine so the conclusion is the PCB. The NTC sensors are checking out okay, they're both reading the same. We check the continuity down the leads, they're good. So, as I said, it's the PCB. We've took the cover off, what covers the PCB, as you can see. What I suggest you do before you take the board out, take a picture of the wires so you know where everything goes. And then you just basically take these wires out here, this plug off here, you've got the uh, ignition bit here for the lead and these two plugs here and then that's basically it you just basically remove these clips at the side you've got one here there one at the side the other thing you should do as well set the potentiometers in that position there and then when you take that off you can match it up with your new board so it lines up. We disconnected all the wires now, we're just going to lift it out. These are our two boards now. This is the old one. So here you can see that little nib is at about two o'clock. So we go to the new board, we're going to turn that around to the same position. So just turn this bottom one here, yeah, and then turn it round 
Just so it stopped there. And then this one the same. And that was it. So that then matches that one. So then it'll go back in the right place once we put it in the boiler. We're going to remove this link from three and four because we don't need that. So we're going to position the new board like flattish. Flat. And then what I want to do is lie this totally flat like that. And then first thing we want to aim for is that bit there. So aim for that corner. And then also aim for that side as well. So that's not quite on. It's either because, yeah, see that there? It's now on it. It'll push down now. So it's just a case of that clip there, once pushing out like that there. And that one. This one, that's down, that's down, that's a bit broke but it doesn't matter, I think we're nearly there, yep, and then we'll get these wires in now. So that's our main electrical connections connected, we're now just going to do the pump and put this earth connection on and the ignition. With all that done now, we're just gonna, yep, you can carry them. Put the big cover on over it. So that's all done. So now for the final turn on. Divert the valve just doing a bit of a freak out. But the coal's not on, that's a great thing. So that's it, it's fired up now. And we're all back to normal. So that's going to be the end of this video as well. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you learned a little bit about this particular fault F64 and the diagnosis, what you have to do. So if you're a new engineer and this is new to you, hopefully you learnt a lot as I said. You can learn a lot more by staying tuned to my channel and find out more about what I do and also my online training. So that's it from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Okay, I'd like to ask you a question. Why are you watching this video? Is it you want to become an excellent boiler pair engineer? Or do you want to build the confidence to become a boiler repair engineer? Or three, do you want to build and increase your knowledge in heating systems and controls? No matter what the reason, I can teach you how to diagnose a fault and learn the techniques in replacing parts using my 30 years of knowledge and experience. And we can do this with our online and offline training program. And this training comes in four levels. So the first level is a foundational training what you're going to need which covers heating systems, hot water and controls training. Level 2, that covers the boiler pair accelerated training. Now this covers gas and electric boiler repairs. Level 3 is our hands-on training that's in the classroom and also on site. Level 4, that's ongoing training by the Boy Repair Library. So, if you want to be the best engineer you can be, all you need to do is click on the link below and start improving yourself today.